Hey everyone, so I am Sahitya Roy. So in this particular video, we will be talking about what is developer relation umbrella, right? So in developer relation, there are lots of terms. People are thinking this is a non-technical role. People are thinking this is a marketing profile. This is a sales profile. So in this particular video, we will be trusting every myth that you have related to developer relations. So welcome back to the YouTube channel. So if you are new into the channel, so keep subscribing and share with your friends about developer relations, community, hackathons, everything stuffs that we will be discussing in this particular channel. Perfect. So what is developer relation? So before understanding the developer relation, it's a bridge between the community and the product. So in every product, there will be some customer or the clients, right? Those people are using your product. So if the people don't know how to use your particular product, so how they will use your product, right? So this is a very you know, drawback for everyone. So that's why developer relation, developer advocacy, community managers plays an important role between these two people. So they will create a content in such a manner so that the community, the client or the users can understand your product. So that's the main aim, right? So there are three C that is very much important in developer advocacy. The first C is code. So what do you mean by code? So if the product is huge technical product, to aap log ko kaise code work kar raha hai, product ke integration kaise karte hai, uh, technical terms, documentation, everything is under you. Aap log ko as a developer documentation banana hai, taaki user usko easily samaj pae, right? So like, the main point is you have to have a knowledge about technical stuffs, codings, etc. Right? Agar ab ekdam fresh ho, you don't have any idea about technical stuffs, then might be you are not fit for a technical company. Right? The second C is stand for uh, community. So what is a community? So community is your you know users, those who will use your product actually. Right? So this community ko manage karne ke liye, you need to create some documentation. That means uh, like you need to you know engage your audience with some documentation with some content with some everything so the community management skills is a very unique skills you have to understand your product then you have to understand your consumer as well like how they want your product to be you know used in their daily life the so second uh, uh, third C is that is content right so content in form of video in form of documentation in form of article in form of doc everything that is considered under content so content ki zarurat hota hai first thing is agar aapke paas developer products hai log usko kaise use karega uske use cases kya hai right uske liye you have to create certain developer documentation right agar aap developer documentation ya fir video nahi banaoge people don't people unable to use your product right let's say you have a library right to library ko kaise use karte hai project ke andar you have to you know portray through video or through any kind of article to documentation this content part is very important under under developer relation umbrella so in developer relation there are lots of you know terms that we heard about developer advocacy uh, developer evangelist you know uh, developer relation advocate so multiple stuffs so according to me this all are under a developer relation umbrella so in developer relation umbrella there are lots of things koi product ko evangelist karte hai koi client side feedback ki upar kaam karte hai koi developer education ki upar kaam karte hai they are creating documentation they are providing education around their product right so every dev devrel having their own role every devrel having their own pros and cons so don't think ki developer relation is a marketing role it's a more than that you have to create content you have to manage community you have to you know also write some code or maybe you will work on the integration part as well right also the reviewing the content creating you know educational content see let's say you are working on a technical product and you are creating some developer content educational content so for that reason you have to have a solid understanding about that product product you have to have a solid understanding about the programming or the technical stuffs so everything is interconnected in the developer advocacy program right so the perks of developer advocate so free food kind of thing like whenever you are going to any kind of conferences hackathons you will get some free food from their side second thing is travel you will get a chance to travel around the world you will get a chance to travel around the cities 
right let's say in uh, uh, some cities uh, event is conducting you are the sponsor or maybe you are the speaker you are representing your company in that event so everything is interconnected right this is the pros of developer advocacy so developer advocates in nutshell is a bridge between the community and the product at the end so in this video that's it about the developer advocacy program and if you are really interested about developer advocacy program uh, if wants to know how to become a dev rel or maybe the pros cons how we can apply and how we can prepare for this so maybe i can create another playlist for this if you want this kind of video in general let me know in the comments so that i can create certain video for you for this video thanks for watching keep sharing keep subscribing and keep hustling thank you